All right, what is up, fellow people of YouTube? Just make here from Reality Tech. Um, I am back with the new Elec dongle. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video on this. Um, the last one I did was how to get this software up and running on your computer. Today, I want to show you how to get the software up and running to track aircraft. Um, I have an older video on it, but the software is outdated, so we're going to be utilizing some different software, um, and it should be pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my laptop, get everything switched over onto that, and I'll continue to on the tutorial, so stay tuned. All right, one of the first things you're gonna have to do to be able to track aircraft with your um, SDR dongle, uh, no matter which one you use, um, you're gonna need to download two different software packages. The first one is the RTL 1090 IMU, um, and I'll have a link to both these below, and you're also gonna need the virtual radar server, um, which will visualize. So basically the RTL 1090 is the decoder and the virtual radar will visualize the information that the decoder is decoding. Uh, once you have those downloaded, um, let me just throw that up there. Empty. All right. Once you have those downloaded, you're going to want to go ahead and install the RTL 1090 IMU software first. New install. The Windows Vista 7.8 will work with Windows 10. I have Windows 10 and I tested this before and it did work. Go ahead and confirm Windows version. And if that's where you want to download it, hit OK. And it'll begin to download all the software for you. Um, now, if you have not installed your dongle yet, this will allow you to do it. Um, but if you already have your um, SDR device installed, um, you can skip the steps that it's going to pop up here in one second um, pretty easily so you don't have to do any of that. So This is the step where it's popping up asking me if I want to or I'm going to want to go ahead and install that. I'll just close that out because I already have it installed. Skip through these steps here that involve the installation. Click yes. All right, and that is installed. So basically now what I can do now is I can go ahead and hit start. And it begins to run, and it picks up my dongle. Um, my I have the R820T. If you guys watch my videos, you should know that. Um, and it starts, this will be the list of aircraft, um, stats, and all that. But how do you visualize it? How do you get these on a map? That's what we'll go ahead and do now. Go ahead and minimize this. Um, Go ahead and put an X on that. And then we'll go ahead and install virtual radar setup. Yes. Go through all the prompts here. Accept the agreement. And install. And they don't have any of those hidden spyware or anything like that that some of the free stuff you get online has. So go ahead and finish that. And that is set once to set up twice. We'll and go ahead and cancel that other installation. All right, now that you have Virtual Radar Server installed, we can go ahead and get everything set up to get it running for, um, the, so you'll be able to see it. So we'll go ahead and uh, go to Options. And what you're going to want to do is set your receiver up basically get this to get information from the decoder. Um, the easiest way is to hit wizard. Um, we're using a software to find radio. We're using the decoder program RTL 1090. The decoder is running on this computer and finish. And the only other thing we have to do now is check the port. So let's open this up. Port is going to be 31001 port is set, hit OK, and what we were able to do now is do virtual radar, and we're tracking one aircraft um, over my area, and what you can do here is go ahead and click on it, and generally what it does is it pops up, like this is a winds, air, winds away, uh, it's a Cessna 560 on citation encore and it gives you the altitude and all that information so yeah i mean it's 
extremely simple to get this information set up and running. Um, now in the next video here, um, probably by the end of the week, I'm going to show you guys how to get this information so you can actually take what you're decoding here and put it on um, Flight Radar 24 and get free premium service. So that'll be my next video, you guys will see out of me. So if this video helped you, please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to Reality Tech for more uh, Reality Tech videos. So I hope you guys have a great day.